Hello, Victorious Ones. How are you doing? I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day. So I'm coming on here to share with you a Bible verse and to give you an update about the latest shooting involving a black man in Georgia. The book of Isaiah 58, the Lord tells us there is a kind of fast that he requires. Amen. And the whole chapter is awesome because God shows us how we should fast. And one of the requirements of God's fast is in verse six, it says, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice, to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke and to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Amen. And so you can read the whole chapter and you see how the kind of fast that God is requiring is for us to help other people. Amen. And they shall, they shall know God's children by our love for each other. Now, there is a case that came to my attention about two weeks ago. Um, I was listening to the radio and I heard a case involving a young man in Georgia who was jogging in a predominantly white neighborhood and he was hunted by three white men, I believe it was three, and they murdered him with a shotgun. He was minding his own business and they decided they were going to racial, um, racially profiled him because they said that there were basically, um, they said there were, there were criminal activities in their neighborhood and he looked like the person. Now he's running in the, and there's a video that has been released where this black man um, Ahmad Arbery, I think his name is. Yes, he was running and you see the van behind him in the video and they, they were hunting him to murder him in justice. And these people, this happened in, in, this happened in February of 2020 and these people are still free. Why, why have they not been arrested? And so I'm using my voice to speak out against this injustice, another injustice, you know, that's come upon our people. And so I'm going to shed light to that. Now I'm looking at an article and you can, you can Google it and you can find the, the video. I don't feel comfortable. I didn't put it on my Facebook. I don't want to share. You can see a man murdered in the video. I don't want to share that. It's just despicable. It's what they did was just demonic. Racism is just demonic. And I, I know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but these men need to be in prison. How dare you feel like you can just dis decide that you are greater and better than a, a race of people and that you can kill them whenever you want. No, you need to be in prison. That's justice. Amen. And so it says that the fatal shooting of a black man apparently recorded on video in February and posted online Tuesday by a local radio station host. And it says it will, it will go to a grand jury in coastal Georgia, according to a district attorney. And this is on CNN. It says that Ahmad Arbery, he was 25 years old. He was jogging in a neighborhood outside Brunswick, on February 23rd, when a former police officer and his son chased him down, authorities said. And it said, according to a Glen County police report, Gregory McMichael later told officers that he thought Aubrey looked like a person suspected in a series of recent break-ins in the neighborhood, in the area. And so after they chased down Aubrey, McMichael told police Aubrey and McMichael's son Travis, they struggled over his son's shotgun. 
and McMichael said two shotguns were fired before Aubrey fell on the street. The report said, and I saw the video and I saw the unharmed, um, unarmed black man being murdered. And so I'm covering our people with the blood of, with the blood of Jesus and all of God's people and children with the blood of Jesus. And last night, before I even read this, you know, I had a dream last night where my husband and I, and I shared on Facebook, and people want to be quiet and silent. They don't want you to talk about racism, but I'm talking about it. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. So in my dream, my husband and I, we were walking with another couple or two other individuals, and we were at the left and they were at the right. And I was on a scooter. I noticed in the road that there was like, you know, like a ditch almost. You know, when they cut the roads to fix it, so it was going horizontally. And so I said, let me get off the um, scooter and walk across it because I'm not going to try to, you know, ride across it and fall on my face. So as, I, as we were walking to the right, there was a van and these big white men, there were angry white men came through the gates you know, through the gate, and they had two big, vicious dogs. They were vicious and big, just like their owners. And the dogs came at us in the dream. And I can tell that the dogs, my husband and I, we were all, we all stood still, and you can tell that the dog was getting ready to bite our legs. And when I turned to my right, out of nowhere, I saw... A, an ambulance and police cars and, it, and it, it, it was very spiritual it was as if the Lord is saying you know I'm protecting you no weapon from against you will prosper and that I, I've sent my angels to help you amen and it reminded me of the verse in Isaiah I think it's Isaiah 65 where God said before you even call I will answer and let me see if I can pull that up in the name of Jesus. So I didn't even start praying the dream. But before, you know, I even prayed, God answered. God sent us help. And the dog did not bite us. Let me see. I'm going to get the verse for you. Yes, Isaiah 65, verse 24. And I saw that verse in the, basically the, the um, fruit of that verse in my dream. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. It's different translations. And so I guess they have a website. It says runformod.com. And it's also on Facebook where we are demanding justice for this family. And so I'm taking this opportunity to make sure that I do my part as a, as a woman of God, as a black woman. Amen. And so please share this video. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and we're going to pray for God's justice to be done in this situation involving all of his children Enough with the blacks being hunted down. That's that's not of God. We are God's children. Amen. Made in his image. And so we're going to the king of kings for justice. Amen. And so I thank you for listening. And um, yes, I thank God for giving me the courage to speak out. And if nobody else will speak out, I will speak out. It reminds me of the poem that was written years ago. First they came for the Jews, and I didn't say anything because I wasn't a Jew. Then they came for the socialists, and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a socialist. And it goes on and on and on. And then finally they came for me, and, and there was nobody to speak out for me. And so I'm going to lend my voice to speak on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. God bless you, victorious ones, and have a great day.